Good day, everybody. I'm Dr. Saad al -Bayaki. I'm an oral radiologist in the College of Dental Medicine, University of Sharjah. And uh, in this series of videos, we're going to have an idea about the use of intraoral intra sensor holders uh, and their different types to be capable of producing images of the best um, quality. So to start with, we're going to uh, have an idea about the uh, uh, sensor holders that are produced by a company called Curl, K-E-R-R, and uh, these <coughs> Are relatively simple to use light and weight of course they are autoclavable so uh, they are made of plastic all of them are made of plastic so that you can use them several times I mean as long as you wish provided that you provide <coughs> the proper uh, sterilization cold sterilization is contraindicated in these types of uh, sensor holders and they are not disposable so you have to follow the proper uh, way of uh, autoclaving. So the curl uh, film holders or sensor holders they come in three types. Uh, their basic components are the same. They are all composed of a, a connecting rod, a bite block, on which the patient is going to bite using his teeth and a sensor holder and they also come with a uh, ring aligner this is meant to be used uh, to guide you to uh, direct the beam so it will fit actually uh, inside the uh, old, uh, it will be aligned with the PID or the uh, cone of the X-ray those will differ as you can see they differ in their colors the one which is vertical is used in the anterior teeth and it is uh, it's given a green color because anterior teeth usually have a longer root so uh, uh, you better place the film vertically the one which has a brown uh, uh, sensor holder uh, uh, it directs the sensor horizontally compare it to this one uh, and it is used for the uh, posterior teeth and there is another type which is the uh, yellow all yellow and this is used for the bite wing and we will come to the usage of these one by one we will start first by using the green one which is used for the upper and lower anterior teeth Uh, all these will share the same components and as we said uh, uh, this is the ring aligner the uh, connecting rod and the biter block in this type specific type of uh, sensor holders I would like you to have a look at I don't know if the camera can bring this there is a notch inside this circle and on the connecting road there are two grooves one is over here and the other one is on the other side and they join in a common groove what you want to do is that you have to align the notch inside here in the common groove this please make sure that when it fits it goes in one of the grooves as you can see don't push it hard or don't try to rotate it because these as i said in the beginning they are light and they tend to break so they lose their ability to be stabilized so they will just keep on rotating so make sure that when you insert the notch insert it and then guide it gently into the uh, uh, groove that you uh, uh, 
that is uh, that is present either on this side or on that side what you want at the end is that you need to have this relationship this relationship if you direct the aligner or the ring aligner into this direction of course you will have concat in this side so the idea is that you need to direct or slide the uh, uh, ring aligner into the groove so that you will end up with this relationship that is the full coverage of the x-ray beam on the sensor uh, this is see this is still um, working if the notch inside the uh, ring breaks it will keep on rotating and it will be useless so please make sure that when you handle this ha handle it carefully don't push it hard into the groove otherwise it will not be stable anymore in the end what we need to uh, have is that we have to have the tooth and the sensor or the film whichever you're using they should be parallel and the x-ray should be falling perpendicular on both of those two uh, uh, structures that is the tooth and the ob uh, the object and the sensor and this is the ideal ideal geometrical relationship between the x-ray being perpendicular on the object and the uh, sensor the ring will also guide you or help you in full coverage of the sensor and the tooth so at the end you will not end up with end up with a concat image and this relationship of the hold of the uh, connecting rod and the biter block will ensure the parallel lines as well as the perpendicular alignment of uh, uh, these uh, the, the whole components of the sensor holder.